channel. This is the second part of the topic, Filipino Customs and Traditions. Marriage and Wedding Costumes A sacred marriage. In the country, marriage is a sacred union of men and women after a period of courtship and engagement. It is a sacrament between two people who love each other. For many Filipinos, the eternal quality of dedication to God pervades a truly sacred marriage. A sacred marriage is a covenant between two who love each other in God and with God, whose joining becomes an expression of the desire of each to love and serve God together. Death that in the Philippines is one of the most important occasions in family life. For many Filipinos, a death of relatives is an opportunity to strengthen ties in the family, to pay respect and honor the relationship to the deceased, long-lost relatives, friends, and even relatives working abroad are reunited. The Philippines is the home of some unique death rituals that are partly religious and mostly superstitious. The mourning and the weeping are still present, but a happy and welcoming atmosphere would usually envelop the place to help the deceased on his journey to the afterlife. After the death of a person, a nine-day period of having a novena of prayers and masses offered up to the deceased is held, although the beginning of the Sham Na'ara varies, but usually ends the week after the death. Another period follows after death, the 40-day mourning period. Family members indicate their state of bereavement by wearing a small, black, rectangular plastic pin on their left breast or breast packet area. A ceremonial mass is held at the end of this 40-day period. Common belief states that the soul goes to heaven after these 40 days, following the belief that Jesus Christ ascended to heaven after the said period of days. Society The primary ancestors of Filipinos are Malays, who came from the southeastern Asian country, which is now called Indonesia. The Philippines is a combined society, both singular and plural in form. It is singular as one nation, but plural in that it is fragmented geographically and culturally. The nation is divided between Christians, Muslims, and other religious ethno-linguistic groups, between urban and rural people, between upland and lowland people, and between the rich and the poor. Although different in numerous ways, the Filipinos are very hospitable and give appropriate respect to everybody regardless of race, culture, and belief. Christmas in the Philippines Christmas in the Philippines is considered as one of the biggest holidays in the archipelago. We earn the distinction of celebrating the world's longest Christmas season with Christmas carols, heard as early as September and lasting until Epiphany, the Feast of the Black Nazarene on January 9, or the Feast of the Santo Nino de Cebu on the third Sunday of January. In one's article, Archbishop Cruz told in his Christmas message that the essence of Christmas is God made flesh, God who has come among us in an act of love that joins humankind to the living God through our Lord Jesus Christ. For many Filipinos, the true essence of Christmas 4 is not gift giving but sharing this special holy day with family. Fiestas Every town and city in the Philippines has a fiesta of its own. Whatever time of the year it is, there's sure to be a fiesta going on somewhere. Fiestas in the Philippines are held to celebrate a patron saint. It is part and parcel of Filipino culture through good times and bad times. It must go on. The biggest and most elaborate festival of all is Christmas. A season celebrated with all the pomp and pageantry where the whole country breaks out in celebrations that can begin long before December. 
or individual Filipinos, fiestas can be a way of supplicating the heavens or to make amends for past wrongs. It is a way to celebrate their blessings, commemorate their past, and observe solemn religious rituals. Celebrations may take the form of music, dancing, festing, beauty contests, balls, processions, sports challenges, or a host of other events. Spanish influence is evident in the elaborate mask, makeup, headdresses, and costumes worn by the revelers, outfits which often take months of preparation. Living with parents Filipinos highly value the presence of family more than anything. Adult children living with their parents are another Filipino traditional that make them exceptional. Unlike in the United States where children leave the home after finishing high school or college, many Filipinos continue living with parents until they get married. Eating with a fork and spoon one Filipino's identity is that they eat using a fork and spoon. The fork is placed in the left hand while the spoon is in the right hand. Fork is used to place or push the food into the spoon which is held by the right hand. Since rice is the main staple of the Filipinos at almost every meal, the fork and spoon method is ideal. It is believed that the use of a spoon and a fork is perfect for the way Southeast Asians prepare and cook their food. Unlike the Americans, who like their meats and other food items in big slabs and humongous chunks, Southeast Asians generally prepare their dishes in bite-sized pieces, chopped, minced, or ground, thus leaving no real need for a knife. Eating with hands, kamayan. In addition to the use of the fork and spoon, eating with your hands or kamayan is another common Filipino tradition for many Filipinos. Kamayan gives a full taste to the food instead of using utensils. Gather a small portion of meat or fish and a bite-sized portion of rice on your plate. Then use all your fingers to gather the food into small mountain or mound. Pick up the little mound and put it in your mouth using your thumb to gently push the food in. Filipinos usually eat rice that has a slightly sticky consistency, so making the little moons is easier than if you were to use a jasmine or basmati rice. Of course, this method of eating doesn't work with soup or stew or noodles and other kinds of food, but for your basic plate of rice, meat or fish, and vegetables, it works quite well. Next time you make dinner, try eating kamayan. Balikbayan Baxes Some Filipinos leave the Philippines to live and work abroad. A balikbayan box is a box of items sent by the balikbayan to their family in the Philippines. The box can be sent or it can be brought by the sender when they themselves return to the Philippines. Balikbayan boxes come in all different sizes and dimensions from bulilit, small to extra large. It can be filled with almost anything, but it is usually filled with items that cannot be found in the Philippines or items that may be too expensive for the average person to buy in the Philippines. Common items found in balikbayan boxes include clothes, shoes, chocolate, nuts, vitamins, basketballs, coffee and tea, magazine, shampoo or conditioner, soap, body lotion, etc. Thank you for listening. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!